few years back I was reading about an interview on Resident Advisor talking East End Dubs about how he does those kind of texture sounds, that crackling background stuff, you know. Now we could say it's easily done by vinyl stock plugin from Ableton, but um, in the interview he actually said he uses a technique that is, yeah, that is using vinyl records and cutting holes and stuff into an actual vinyl record. And when he plays that back, it creates those kind of um, texture sounds, right? Those crackle stuff and things. What I found uh, a few months back is a, a contact instrument that does ex exactly this kind of sounds and I just want to share it today with you. So let's jump in. So yeah, let's have a quick listen to this uh, background stuff that I came up with. Nothing crazy to be honest, and it's without any effects yet. So now, how did I create this? So there's actually a tool that can create those kinds of um, vinyl crackles and stuff, and it's called uh, Vinyl Carving Station from Rattly and Raw. The tool itself, the instrument itself is quite cheap, around six pounds. And the downside is you actually need the contact not the player, but the full version of Contact, which is around 200 bucks uh, from native, native Instruments. Let's just quickly explain it. So here we have a pitch. Here's the step sequencer with all the cells and the sounds in it. Here's the volume change, which also serves as a velocity yeah, setting. And then, uh, as mentioned, we have the cells here, right? You can turn it on or off and then we can choose between low, low, mid, high, mid and high. So if I click on those sounds here, right, we have low stuff here. Oh, this was interesting one. Um, and then I really just go randomly have a background noise Swing function, of course. And you also have an effects section. And one problem that I 
currently have is I, I can't get that thing synchronized to my Ableton uh, session. I don't know why, because on my MacBook it works, but here on my iMac it doesn't work somehow. I don't know. And uh, currently I just uh, resample it and then um, warp it to the BPM. I don't know, it's probably an easy fix, but um, I will figure it out maybe. Maybe before this video is going out, but um, you saw how it can work in context with a track as a background um, kind of thing. Yeah, nothing fancy, but it can add some kind of grid a little bit in the background, some movement. So yeah, I hope this helps a little bit. Um, maybe you want to test it out. There is a demo version which runs 15 minutes or so. Yeah, you can actually use it with a free contact player, I guess. Now, another important thing that I wanted to mention is you can download my raw minimal kick template it's an ableton drum rack actually um, which is this kind of kick here this is actually adjusted with some automation um, if you download it it comes as a plain uh, preset right yeah if you want to download this uh, soft but snappy raw minimal kick drum rack for ableton live it's free for download for you just click on the link below so yeah i hope this helps i just wanted to share this with you because i downloaded it a few years back already i guess one or two years but i just started using it again as a background texture tool and it hopefully helps you too that's why i wanted to share it here on my ch channel quickly and um, yeah, I hope this helps. See you next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching.